Stuart, great to speak to you. Obviously not in the best of circumstances, but you know, you've just started your recovery. How, how's that been going so far? Yeah, started well. Um, obviously been out a few weeks now. Um, so we're on the mend and, and looking forward to, to getting back out there as soon as possible. It's, you know, I mean, you've had a pretty illustrious career so far. You must have come across a few injuries in your time. Is, so is this a, a, more of a, a bit more of a long-term stay, something you've gone through before? Yeah, I'd say it's one of the longer ones I've had. I think, obviously, injuries are part of football. And when you've had um, a, a long career like I have, you know, you can't, you can't help some, some of them. You know, they're inevitable, especially the way I play, you know, quite industrious and, and wholehearted. So, yes, uh, it's not ideal. But um, it is what it is, you know, you've got to stay positive and be in the best best position and mentally the best place to, to come back better and stronger. And this injury obviously put you under the knife, which again is not, not a nice scenario to have to go through. But I mean, that's one of the things that I guess most fans and supporters and people that aren't, you know, in, in, that, in football like that don't get to see. So what, what kind of, what goes on in that kind of situation? Yeah, it's never ideal, obviously, when you, when you come across these injuries and you hear about players going, going under the knife, it's not... It's not initially what you want to hear. Obviously, no one wants to have an operation, but ultimately, um, the level of, of sport that we play at, we kind of have to be in the best, the best shape possible. And, and, and ultimately, surgery is the only option that, uh, to, get, to get back in the best way, way we can. Um, you know, time scale is another thing. We can't obviously just wait for our body to heal because, you know, we, we, we would run out of time. The season's obviously only a short window. Um, so we look at all options, of course, but ultimately, um, surgery is the best, the best route to go down to make sure you get fixed and, and, and put in the safest hands possible and come back in the best, best shape possible. And obviously, that's the route we went down, and I feel good. It went well. Um, it's just about getting fit and, and, and making sure everything's right and ticking all the boxes and getting back out there as soon as we can. And well, that starts. Well, it started, I think, last week or a couple of weeks ago, didn't it? And, and how's that been going? Is it, is it Liam seen seen you well? Yeah, that's it. He's looking after me. The club's been really well, really positive with me. So, um, like I say, the surgery is done. We're um, we're just looking forward now. We're, we're stepping up our recovery as soon as possible, and, and we're ahead of where we are. So, yeah, it all looks good so far. As club captain, I guess, is it quite hard to have to sit back and watch all the lads go out and play when when you can't, you know, in, influence them directly? Yeah, I think that's the hardest thing. Obviously, I've been to pretty much every game since um, since I've been out and obviously I'm giving my, my help where, where I can in the dressing room and around the training ground and things like that but ultimately you want to be helping on the pitch you know that's what you get paid to do and as a club captain I feel like um, I've got a lot to offer this, these boys because they are a young squad and you know um, it's hard for me to sit and watch because like I say I want to be helping but it's a long season there'll still be plenty of time for me to play and, and have my say on things. And how does that recovery look? Is it is it going to be a bit more, a bit longer than, than we think, or is it going to be quite soon? Do you think? Uh, hard to say now. Yeah. I think it won't be as long as what what people initially thought or things like that. I recover quite quick, and with my professionalism and and, and with the help of Liam and things like that, we we should be ahead of schedule and on target. But it's still early days. Like I say, with rehab and the experience I've had, things can go can go wrong. You're going to have good days and bad days, so it changes almost day to day. But but like I say, we're in a good position. We're in good shape, and like I say, hopefully we can uh, continue on the path we're on.